The next bit Robin is an Android smartphone that merges cloud and onboard storage in a rather unique way. This is Royden with Gadget 360 and here's our review. One look at the Robin and you can tell this is no ordinary smartphone. The quirky design is backed by an excellent build quality which makes the Robin striking yet comfortable to hold. The 5.2 inch display offers great sunlight legibility and produces vivid colors and sharp images. We also have front firing stereo speakers with dual amplifiers resulting in really good audio. The Robin is a single SIM smartphone with 4G VoLTE support. It's powered by a hexa-core Qualcomm processor and has 3GB of RAM and 32GB of onboard storage. Being a cloud-first smartphone, you get 100GB of cloud storage in place of a microSD card slot. This is where things get interesting. Nextbit's smart storage system automatically archives unused apps and photos to the cloud, leaving you with ghost apps and low-resolution photos on your phone. These can be restored at any time. This happens as soon as you begin filling the local storage with data. Videos are currently not archived and neither are photos that aren't in your camera folder. Apps that are archived appear grayed out, but you can pin important ones to make sure they're always available. While this idea works well, we would like more granular control over the backup process. Also, since it doesn't archive videos, even 100GB is of not much use if you fill your phone storage with recordings. The next bit Robin runs a custom version of Android Marshmallow with a few UI tweaks. There's a permanent menu on the home screen which lets you access archive apps, pinned apps and all apps. Overall system performance is good. The Robin handles 4K video playback and games with ease. The 30 megapixel rear camera does an okay job at landscapes but colors are exaggerated. The camera struggles a lot with macros very often resulting in blurry shots. Low light pictures also lack detail. 4K video is possible and the quality is good. Battery life is strictly average due to the small capacity. Fast charging is supported if you have the right adapter, but the phone only ships with a USB Type-C cable. The next bit Robin is a glimpse into what smartphones could be like in the future. However, it doesn't necessarily make it today's best smartphone. The striking design and cloud integration features aside, it doesn't really quite stand up to today's competition. No doubt, cloud archiving will get better in time with support for more file types, but it makes you wonder whether you're better off using a simple micro SD card for more storage. So that was our review of the next bit Robin. Hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Gadgets360.